Okay, so now let's do an example of converting compound units. So a compound unit is just a unit like this guy right here. So we can see grams times centimeters cubed over seconds squared. So it involves more than one type of unit. All right, so how do we start these? Basically, I'm going to do the same thing we have been doing, and that is just write down what we're starting with. And we're going to convert each one of these units individually, so one at a time. So it doesn't, it's not as bad as it looks. So let's write down 25.3 grams times centimeters cubed over seconds squared. All right. Now, as I said, we want to convert one unit at a time. So first, I'm going to convert grams to kilograms, because here's our goal. And then centimeters cubed to meters cubed, and finally, seconds squared to hours squared. So we'll go through that one step at a time. So let's tackle the easy one first, and that is the grams to kilograms. So as before, nothing's changed here, we're going to convert grams to kilograms, and so we have 1,000 grams in one kilogram, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and cross out grams. So we are officially in kilograms right now. So what we want to do now is convert these cubed and squared units. And we have to keep one thing in mind when we're doing that. So how many centimeters are there in one meter? So we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So we have that memorized. Now, what happens if we cube the centimeters? So to the third power. So I'm going to write that down here. So we've cubed our centimeters. What we need to remember is that we need to cube this number also. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So meters cubed and it's going to be 1 cubed. Now, of course, that's still just going to be 1. So that's why you may see a conversion factor that looks something like this. 1 times 10 to the 6th centimeters cubed is equal to 1 meter cubed. And so that kind of obscures what's actually going on. But just remember, whatever you do to the unit, you have to do that to the number in front of it. So if we want to convert from centimeters cubed to meters cubed, then all we're going to do is apply what we did there. So centimeters cubed is going to be on the bottom, so we're going to have 100 cubed centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's a little bit small. Maybe I can clean it up here a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So centimeters cubed, and we're going to put one cubed meter cubed on the top. And I'm just writing that one cubed so that it makes it really clear what we're doing. But of course, one to the third power is still just one. All right, so now let's go back and cancel out our centimeters. So we have centimeters cubed on the bottom, and that cancels out those centimeters cubed. Now we are in meters cubed. Now, what do we do with time? Okay, so we have seconds squared on the bottom. And we want to go to hours squared. So what we're going to do here, we are going to remember in our brains, we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. And there are 60 minutes in one hour. Now we notice that the seconds are squared and the hours are squared, so we're going to do the same thing. So for these two conversion factors, we're going to have 60 squared seconds squared is equal to 1 squared minutes squared. And of course, that 1 squared is just 1. Same thing with our minutes to hours, so 60 squared minutes squared is equal to 1 squared hour squared. All right, so let's go ahead and put those in. First, let's convert our seconds to minutes. So 
So let's write. So we have second squared on the bottom. This is a little bit different. So second squared on the bottom, that means it has to go on the top in our conversion factor. So 60 squared, second squared. And again, let me just clean that up, make it a little bit larger. And we're going to have 1 squared minute squared. All right, let's cancel out our second squared. Make sure that we did that properly, and we did. Now we're in minute squared on the bottom. So let's go ahead and convert minutes to hours. Minute squared to hours squared. So we have 60 squared minutes squared over a one squared hour squared, okay? And so now we are ready to do our math, all right? So remember, anything that is on the bottom or any, anything that's in the denominator, we're going to divide this number by that. Anything that is in the numerator, so on the top, we're going to multiply. So we're going to end up with 25.3 divided by 1,000, divided by 100 cubed, and then we're going to multiply by 60 squared, which is 3,600, and again multiply by 60 squared. So when we put all of that in the calculator, we are going to end up with 0 0.32 seven eight nine kilograms meters squared meters cubed sorry over hours squared all right so let's just go back and make sure that we've converted all of our units correctly so we have kilograms here we have meters cubed here and we have canceled out our minutes those guys are gone and so we end up with hours squared on the bottom the last thing we need to do is check our sig figs. So let's take a look at our number, the quantity that we started with. 25.3 has three significant figures. So we're going to end up with 0 0.328 kilograms meters cubed over hours squared as our final answer.